Oh, hi guys and welcome to my first ever video tutorial. Um, so today what I'm going to be um, creating in this video is for you how to set up your page for elevations in Adobe Illustrator. Um, what I'm going to do for elevations is just break it down into short videos so that if you already know how to do this, you can skip ahead to the videos that are more tailored to where you're at. Um, so this is what your page will look like by the end of this session. Uh, so to start, just go up to File and hit New. And if you have the version where these options come up across the top, just go ahead and select Print. But if they don't come up, that's totally okay. You just want to select A3 in any other file format. Um, A3 and go over to the side bar here and you want to select a landscape orientation. Uh, we're not going to worry about a bleed at this stage, but just check that your color mode is in CMYK so we can print off your elevations. Um, for this tutorial, I'll be using two artboards on my screen so I can show you some things. Uh, so you can add a second artboard here, but if you just want to work on one page, I'll leave this setting to one. Uh, go ahead and click create. Okay, so the first thing we want to do with our page is set up our grids. Now, I like to use the navigator tool when I'm zooming in and out a lot. If you don't have this on your screen and you would like to use it, you go to Window, Navigator, and it will come up. So we want to set up our grids first. You have done this before. If you're in Year 12, you've done this before in some of our earlier tasks. But please click on Edit, Preferences guides and grid. Okay. Um, when you're in here, you want to make sure that your grid line is set to every 10 millimeters and your subdivisions are set to 10. And that means there will be a line for every single millimeter on your page. If you don't like working in gray, you can custom your color there as well. Uh, while we're in here, I want you to also click on the units tab. Now, it's really important that all of your units for this task are set to millimeters. So my general one here is set to millimeters. You also want to set your stroke to millimeters uh, and your type as well. So set all of these to millimeters and hit OK. Now, what you'll notice is that you can't see your grid. So that means you need to view it. So if you click on view, show grid. And now you have your grid. The next thing I would like you to do, just so you can understand how this works, is hit control, hold down the control tab and hit R. And you'll notice you now have a ruler up the top and down the side of your page. Now that ruler is set to zero on the top left corner up here. So this ruler along the top starts from zero, goes all the way to 42, because we're working in um, A3, and A3 page is 42 centimeters long. And it will go down from zero down to your page. I'm just going to zoom in using my control plus. Okay, and it will go down to 29.7 down the bottom here. Now, the first thing we want to do in our elevations is just to divide our page um, into quarters so we uh, can um, even out our workspace. Now we're going to halve the length and the width. So I'm just going to zoom in and you'll see that the, the ruler is very close to my edge of my page. And I'm going to find 21 because 21 or oh, 210 because we're working in millimeters. Uh, 21 is half of 42. So I'm going to put a guideline straight down here. Now guidelines won't print when you're printing. So they're really handy to use in VCD. Now to do that, I need to click in my, go over to my ruler on this side of the screen click and hold and I'm going to drag out a guideline and I'm going to put that on the 21 mark and let go. Okay, so the guidelines come up in like a uh, aqua color. Now I'm going to go over to the side of my page and using my navigator, just go roughly halfway down the screen, down my page, sorry. Okay, now half of 29.7 is 14 
0.35. So I'm going to go to 14. So I'm at um, I'm at 130. Now I'm at 140. You know what? I can't see that very well. I'm going to zoom in a bit more so we can see all of that. Okay, so I'm clicking on my top ruler to drag my guideline. Click and hold. Okay, so this line is at 130. This line's at 140. We're going to go to 140. I'm going to go one, two, three, and halfway between the next two millimeters. And that should give us our halfway mark. So now we've got four even quarters to work in. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, I'm just going to drag this back up so we can see it, is add our title bar. And the title bar is going to go down in our right hand corner. So when I'm navigating around my page, I'm just using uh, two fingers on the mouse tracker, um, or you can hold down the shift bar and you can click and drag around using, oh, sorry, not shift, space bar, and you can drag around. To zoom in, I'm using control plus, and to zoom out, control minus, if you're not familiar with those. So I'm just gonna go down to this bottom corner of my page, where I'm going to put my title bar. Now I want to leave a one centimeter border like we do with presentation drawings. So I am going to grab a ruler from the left hand side and pull it over to one centimeter from the outside of my border. Now you'll see that because the page is uneven lengthwise, uh, sorry, height wise, this distance here is not exactly one centimeter. So I'm going to click and drag down a ruler You'll find that this should be seven mil. So I'm just going to drag up three more to make sure that that distance there is exactly 10 mil. Cool. So this is where our title bar is going to go. Uh, you're going to use your line tool over in your toolbox. Click on that tool. And if you just hit anywhere on your page, Alt and Shift and click. So that was holding down the Alt and Shift keys, and I just clicked once. And then my line segment tool will come up. Now, I want this to be 10 centimeters long. 10 centimeters is 100 millimeters. And I want it, I can choose the angle. So I can either put in 0 here or 180. And then I'm going to press OK. So to move this, I'm going to go my black arrow tool and put it down on this guy right ah oh, sorry wrong one down the bottom now i want to make sure that my line weight my stroke weight is at 0.35 millimeters so if you just go up the top to your stroke weight it's going to be at 0.35 okay make sure you're still on your black arrow tool hold down the alt key now if I'm holding down my alt key and then I scroll over an object you'll see that a double mouse head will come up so if I continue to hold like uh, to hold that alt key I can click and duplicate that object okay so I'm going to put this one two three above so and if I hold down shift at the same time, it will make sure that it's perfectly aligned with the object underneath it. So I've all I've done here is made sure that the distance between these two lines is exactly 10 mil. I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to click this line, hold down alt, hold down shift at the same time. Oop, I missed it. Hold down alt, double arrowhead, hold down shift. Okay, and now I've got the top of my title bar. The top line of your title bar needs to be a heavier weight. So go up to your stroke tool and hit uh, one millimeter. Okay, so when you zoom out, you should have a nice cool little title bar down in the corner. Okay, we're going to use the technical specifications to ensure that we have the correct information in our title bar. So what I'm gonna do is actually take a screen grab um, of that so I've just opened up the PDF document okay for reference it's this one here it's in compass resources if you're not sure where to locate that and just scroll down to the very very last page and you'll have a title bar 
Now, just to keep things easier, I'm just going to uh, just let me do this at some time. No, it won't. Oh, maybe. Okay. I'm just going to snip this and edit copy. I'm just going to pop that in Illustrator so I can use it as a reference so I don't have to click between screens. Um, so I've just clicked on my black arrowhead. I'm holding down shift to resize it so it's out of the way. I'm just going to pop it over here. Okay. So a couple of things to note with this uh, is number one, these three lines should be flush to the left. Number two, we don't need a north arrow because these are elevations, not floor plans. And all of our um, text should be in capitals. So we're going to go over here and I want you to choose a sans serif font. So up in your type tool, um, just look for a, a nice clear sans serif font. I'm going to go with uh, Montserrat. If you don't have one that you're happy with, uh, Calibri works really well, um, Arial Black, um, or you can download one from the font or wherever you would like to put one. And our ta uh, sorry, the name of this is going to be Elevations. So I've just typed it in using the type tool. I'm just going to move it across. Now it's really important to get this one right, first of all. So I'm just zooming right in here. Okay. I'm just pulling it over so that it's flush with the, the top of the title bar. And I'm also going to make it exactly one millimeter below the title bar as well. I might need to change the height. We'll just wait until we put all of our text in to do that. Okay. So it's flush with the left side. The title is needs to be flush over here with the right. So I'm just going to copy and paste this by holding down the Alt key, getting that double arrow clicking for a duplicate of this. Now, if I hold down shift, it will put it directly in line with it. I'm going to let go, let go of all my keys. So to uh, change the type, all you need to do is double click in here for the cursor to arrive and it will automatically put you on the type tool. Now I can type in uh, the title of the drawing, which is beach house cabin design. Okay, I'm grabbing my black arrow, I'm holding down shift, oops, I'm sorry, I'm selecting it, moving it, holding down shift, and I'm just using my arrow keys to tab it over so that this now is flush with the right hand side. Now I'm pretty happy with that typeface so far. If I need to make it a bit smaller, I will. Okay, so if I go back to here, I've got my uh, drawing title and I've got the project title sorted. Now we need to put in some of these smaller details. I'm going to put the sheet number in first because that's a separate piece of text on its own. I'm going to use my type tool. Down here, I'm going to type in 01 because we only have one sheet for our elevations. I am going to be a bit cheeky and use the transform tool. So black arrow, just zoom in so we can see, hold down shift and you can enlarge this so that now what I'm doing is making sure that there is roughly one mil gap between the both of the um, title bar lines and the text. I'm just going to arrow that one over so that it's nice and flush with the right hand side and now I've got my sheet number in. Okay. So now we have to put in quite a bit of text. Um, we might need to use a smaller font. So I'm going to click over here. I'm just going to bring this down to maybe three mil to start with. And the first thing we need to put in is a scale and then the sheet size. Now we're obviously working at A3 and we're working at a one to 100 scale. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, so using capitals, Scale 1 to 100. Now what I'm going to do is have these as individual pieces of text so that if I do need to move them or 
resize them, it's going to be easier. Okay, uh, sheet size A3. The next thing we need to put in is our name. So all I'm doing is using that Alt, click and drag, hold down Shift. You can use the old copy and paste if that's easier. Um, your name. And the last thing we want to put in here, actually second last thing, we want to put in the date. So the date that you're completing the drawing. So today is the 27th of the 3rd, 2020. Now I'm running out of room for the last one. So that means we're going to have to resize. Copy and paste, hold down shift. Now I'm going to put in the last thing we need to add is the word sheet number. Cool, so I've gone way over. What I'm going to do now is hold down shift, grab my black arrow and just select all of these guys. Go up the top to our, um, our font size. And, ooh, that's probably too small. I might type in 2.5. Yeah, that's looking better. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is just move them around, change the gaps between them, as long as the gaps are roughly even. So we're aiming for might need to go a little bit smaller you can also move um, a few at a time if you just select one hold down shift you can move a few different ones at a time cool so that is roughly what you need to have there now the last thing we need to do is just to add in the elevations um, into each of the quadrants here. So just check my um, technical specifications. I've got the drawing title, I've got the, the project title, scale, sheet size. We don't have north because we don't need it. Uh, your name, the date and the sheet number 01. So we're looking good, we're nearly there. All right, so uh, going back to your four quarters, navigator, um, at the top left, this quarter here, you need to add in your north elevation. Okay, I wanna use a 10 millimeter height for this and capitals. I'm using the same font I did my title bar with, north elevation. So please be sure this is in capitals and it says elevation, no S on the end. And then it's in 10. So I'm just going to bring this down. Okay. Now I've already got the settings sorted for this. So if I hold down Alt, bring it down to the bottom. Doesn't matter if it's fully aligned yet. We can change that at the end when we polish off our drawing. So always go north, south. I'm just going to bring this up above our title bar. Um, east goes to the right of south. East. And West. Cool. Okay. So now we've set up our page ready to put in our elevations. Now, please be sure to go file, save as, or save, whichever one you want to start with. And I'm just going to... I can't spell and I'm just going to pop in elevations setup page okay at the moment it's an illustrator file that's because I'm working on it if you did need to upload it to compass uh, for authentication or to hand in you want to drop down this menu and click on PDF okay so you've got a, um, a smaller file size and hit save and you are good to go always hit okay and you've just saved your work all right, thanks guys.